Baby dolls, the ETH BTC ratio is peaking. We are wearing our bull hat on. Moo, you are yummy. Chocolate sprinkles today and yesterday, mind you. Look at the ETH BTC ratio right here. Now, as a friendly reminder, I'm wearing a cowboy moo hat, right? Yeehaw, gunslinging, friends. This can all go to zero. It could be zero right now by the time this video uploads. I'm telling you, just as an emergency, it is breaking news. ETH BTC is finally going up. It is the ratio of Ethereum to Bitcoin. You just do Ethereum divided by Bitcoin. That's it. Right now, it's 0 0.06, which just means 6%. Can we just confirm that, friends? That means Ethereum is 6% of Bitcoin's price. Now, whatever the price is depends. So if this ratio stayed the same and Bitcoin went to 100K, you have Ethereum at 6K. You see this ratio? That's why it's really important because... When people tell me that Bitcoin's going to 300,000 this cycle, using this ratio, you're telling me that Ethereum, if this ratio stays the same, it'll be 0 0.06 times 300K, you got an $18,000 ETH. Now, by the way, if that happens, Ethereum will have a higher beta. Ethereum will be like up here. It'll be like 18 to 30K. And if Ethereum does that, there's a ratio of all the altcoins to Ethereum and they'll have an even higher beta a higher risk sensitivity to it. Now, you probably say, oh, that means we all retire. Yeah, that's the point. You know not everybody retires. Everybody gets too rich too fast. That doesn't happen. That was crossing the chasm in 2017. We are later in the technology adoption cycle. Ethereum is in its third cycle curse. Doesn't mean we give up. It just means we're not on the same side as crowd consensus. Jeremy Lefufu, meet Kevin, all the other stock market boomers who say Bitcoin and Ethereum are legit and altcoins are a scam. We are not on that side. We have straight backs. Our orange juice, very ice cold. There's, I don't even want to taste theirs, friends, to be honest. Bleh. Now, ETH BTC, this is very important. It is almost crossing 0 0.061. This is really important. Why? This is the weekly super trend. It's actually right here. Now, once, once it crosses, what happens? Well, it's not like anything magical happens. It's just that this sell now flips underneath and now the price is up here. Sweet. Now, I just want to show you what happened in 2020 when this occurred. In 2020, friends, it flipped green here, and then we went sideways. But then DeFi season happened, okay? This is DeFi season. So I also want to show you Hex actually peaked around here. So think about this, friends. Hex started rallying when ETH BTC went up. Now, I'm not saying there is a correlation there, but I think it's very strangely weird. It's not, friends. Actually, I'll beat around the bush. Look, Hex... It's main narrative, it's Richard designed it to grab market share off Bitcoin because it logically it makes sense. But the market hasn't woken up to it yet. But it kind of makes sense with that too. Why is the market working up to it? Hex is more like DeFi, which is an old narrative. It's a, it's now going to cycle two narrative. Now, you might say, well, Hex is store of value. It gives you yield, Bitcoin doesn't it? And it does so much things better. Yes. Problem. The people in Bitcoin, they are in a very low velocity environment, which means that all their money stayed in Bitcoin and there's no real bridges and liquidity rails. In a nutshell, I think if Bitcoin's application layer and its wallets get better support and more user experience, I think we'll see people get their Bitcoin and bridge out to something else and they'll find other stuff. But if we just look at Hex's chart, let's go look at the beginning, friends, what it looked like. This is what Hex did in that Feb. Remember, I just showed you, if we go back here, I'll show you Ethereum right here. See how Ethereum went up, friends, and then went sideways, that first pop? Well, we can actually go and look at what Hex did there as well. That was this moment here. This is around, this is Feb, April. You see that going up. So I'm not, look, I know, I know this is really, really crazy. Trust me, it's spooky. Look at it. These correlations, I know... It's hard because it's so transparent. It's like, well, okay, Ethereum goes up, but then Richard may have deployed money to pump hex. May have. We don't know. Now, on the surface, it looks like they're not related. But if you remove the names, remove the logos, you don't know that that's Ethereum. You don't know that it's hex. You don't know anything. If you just put these on the charts and I told you these series events, you would say they're related. Now, I don't know, causation, correlation, it doesn't really matter. It's a weird, spooky, friends. It's just astrology. Woo, four-year cycle. I've got a moo hat bull. 
That's what you got to remember, okay? We're literally going absolutely nuts, friends. We have no idea. But these things keep lining up. Four moons, you just keep dumping. Four-year cycle, magical stuff. So while it works, we have to pay attention because the boomers, they still don't get it yet. They're like, w w where's the price-to-earnings ratio, sir? There's none. Okay, there's none. Deal with it. It's Metcalf's law. People are in a network. They're speculating that in 10 years something's going to happen. Try kick them out because they're not leaving. So... Maybe this pump correlates to that, but that's why I, I want to show you this, this. This is really, really, really important. Ethereum is king of the altcoins, friends. That's what we're trying to look at now. Ethereum as king of the altcoins, we now get to see what happens to basically our portfolios if this thing continues. And I'm just going to show you on the dominance here. This is altcoin dominance, right? Even though we've done this move, they have already been moving, friends. These things have already been moving before Ethereum. So... These things have already been moving. AI has already been moving. So you never know, man. Ethereum might pop up soon, and then we just have this. This would mean altcoins going up. We see this move, friends, even though it's not... See, this is the this is the time period. This is a long time. And then we might find in this time period, it does this. So this very, very short time period just basically goes exponential. We don't know. Just guessing. If we use 2016 fractal, old season's already over. If we use 2020 fractal, we've got three months to go. Obviously, where am I leaning towards? I'm leaning towards because Ethereum still has not rallied, which is what's shown you. It still has not flipped green on the weekly super chain to just begin the trend. It hasn't even started that yet. I'm leaning towards it not being over and then we have three months to go. That's what I'm leaning towards. But remember, oh, you've got to be careful, friends. I'm telling you, the people who sell, I don't care. Look, me and you are going to be fine. You know that. I'm caring. I care about the downtrodden, the weakest hands. All right, the people who who are new. Okay, they're the weakest hands. People new don't know what they're doing. Okay, I'm trying to tell them. Look, even if someone gets something wrong in the short term, they can still be wildly right in the in the long term. They can. That's why I don't focus on this short term prediction stuff because I know I'm gonna be fifty fifty probably. All right, I can't get everything right for this four year cycle forever. But if I get something wrong. That's why I don't even do this. And you're not even making trades off it. It's just getting, oh, it gets up or gets down. It's just probabilities, man. Who cares, right? When these things go wrong, people then say, oh, well, cre credibility zero. I'm going to go join this other guy. He said the candle was going to go down. Let me go follow him. Then they go buying indicators, joining trading groups. They end up getting wrecked. So you all know what we're actually in here for, okay? And of course, we're going to play a bit of pump music as well. So we can't deny the facts. We have been pumping. All coins have been moving up. I hope the next parabolic move is coming now. What coins to buy and stuff, friends? I think this is just fantastic that I can actually write this out for you, literally off the back of my hand. Now, I have the Richard Hart personality coin stuff. Okay, we're going to go. Uh, <clears throat> you should watch the other video about that too. But look, it's going to be coming out, coming out shortly. You got to know these truths about every coin, every market. Okay, so Coinbase have 1.1 million Bitcoin. They can dump it to zero, right? You know, Bitcoin only has 40,000 Bitcoin on the bid. So compare 1.1 million to 40,000 Bitcoin on the bid. I'm going to make this up. You go look this up, literally. 40,000 Bitcoin spot, click, keep just clicking it down to zero. No one's going to step in front. Who's going to leave $150 million or a billion dollars of bids for you when you're just willing to sell something down 50% in the top? No, no one's going to do that. It's not rational because they're like, oh, because people assume you know something. You know there's a bug or something, okay? So that's Bitcoin. Now, Ethereum, Vitalik, Justin Sun, and Celsius, three of them, they can send Ethereum to zero. Three guys. Okay, so Coinbase can go click zero, one guy. Vitalik, Justin Sun, Ethereum, three guys to zero. There's not enough bids for Ethereum to support. They could do that. They could do that. Matic is owned by 13 Indian dudes. They used to have 83% of the supply. I don't know what it is now. Maybe they've been selling OTC in the background. Maybe it's down to like 75%, but... You know, friends, all you need is 1.5% of the market cap to click sell in an asset and it goes to zero, right? 1.5%. 13 Indian dudes own like 80%. Okay, but they, no, they don't sell it. Okay, that, that's the, I'm trying to tell you. Coinbase, Ethereum, Matic, they don't sell it, friends. These people believe in their networks. CZ owns 99% of Binance coins, pretty much. Johnny Chaos revealed it, showed, hey, you guys own all the coins in your top like 50, 100 wallets, and they, they they changed the wallets around. They did this emergency wallet moving stuff, so it doesn't say that they own 99.35%. Now they own 70%, which is still huge, by the way. 70%, 1.5% sends it to zero. Arbitrum, 
All right, the layer two for Ethereum owned by Tam Pantera Capital. Other VC scum insiders, fans are up a thousand X from the initial investment. They can all send it to zero. Not even all of them. They can literally unlock it. They send it to zero. Okay. Charles Hoskinson, they can send Cardanzo to zero. Okay. He can literally send all these stacks to zero, friends. I can go on about many coins in the top 100. It is all the same. And I'm going to tell that to you now. Yes, I can literally... I know these off the top of my head. I just got a peanut brain in here, friends. Nothing else. This little rotating peanut inside. Just salty crystals. If I know these off the top of my head, imagine the other ones I would find out if I just dug and bothered actually looking. There's so many others out there that I know of. Elon Musk can send Doge to zero, by the way. He owns a lot of the coins. They end up doing a lot of this tracking and stuff. Okay. So everybody can send everything to zero. Do you live in a street, friends? Some of you do. Do you know that maybe your street has 20 houses? Do you know that like if four of those houses try to sell, no one gets out because everyone's wondering what the what the F is wrong with this street? Is there a zombie virus plague going on there? Yes. Same as every city, by the way. You know, in a city, friends, I'm not kidding. If 10% of the city tried to just leave, <laughs> there's not enough bids. Sorry. This happens with everything. I know it's crazy. Ah, how do you live with this? Welcome to just humans and reality of life. But this is the beautiful part. The marginal price sets the whole market cap. The marginal price. Whether the marginal price is being affected by somebody in FOMO or all the way down to fee and the emotional cycle. It's the marginal price. So I am speculating that Richard Hart won't dump Hex, Pulse, or Pulse X to zero. Just taking a wild gamble here. So that's tongue in cheek because everybody will always say, I'm, I'm here to help you, man. I don't really care, friends. We're going to kill it. All right, we're going to kill it. I'm just, I'm just trying to help you. It's the same thing everywhere, man. It's just that Pulse Chain community is really loud and really transparent. All right. 140 content creators, 68 streamers. <clears throat> because they're really transparent and it's grassroots marketing, you can see the story play out. You have Gunther who first revealed the origin address wallets Back years ago, you have people doing all like the big 3D spheres of the origin address. People are watching. You have Mr. Hextronaut and Mr. Silver the Antidote. They all do the like every single move on the on-chain, all these these things done. No one's doing this on XRP or Corridanzo. No one's doing these things, man. You know, they have this scrutiny in Ethereum, by the way. But none of these other ones, man. They're not doing that, friends. You know why? It's because all the coins are owned by those people who do background OTC deals. You know what blew my mind? If you go back to 2022, how Du Quan, otherwise known as Dildo Quan, how he was actually selling Luna, it's crazy, man, what they were doing. You couldn't trace it. They will do an OTC deal with Jump Trading, who were given an ICO access, and they'll, they'll basically, they'll just, they'll bunny hopping across value and switching stuff around, but you can never see it on chain. Okay, so these things go on everywhere because they don't want to be traced, man. They don't want to be traced. Why? Oh, God, the can't figure it out. Well, maybe they want to dump on the bull market. <clears throat> I'm just guessing. Guessing. I don't think Richard's going to click sell and send everything to zero. I don't think so. Do I know so? No, I just don't think he's going to click sell. I'm not going to pretend I tell you I know the truth, but I just don't think so. So, Hex, right? Long-term family mindset. Pulse chain. Builders. Pulse X. Gunslinging cowboys. Incentive token. I'll try everything once. That's Pulse Chain ecosystem, okay? There's different personalities for each of them. I want you to think of that, not, Richard's got all the coins, he's going to dump. Friends, we've been through this before, man. No one wants to dump their own coin. You want to know why? I'll tell you why. Because Richard, his ego is so big, he doesn't have anything else to buy. He ain't buying Matic of 13 Indian dudes. You understand? <clears throat> Same as all the other coins. If Coinbase dumps a million Bitcoin... They're not going to go buy Apple stocks. They're going to go to jail. <laughs> they're going to find them down. You know what I mean? So these people, they're, they're, they're rulers of a city. <clears throat> they've got nowhere to go. Friends, you've seen the war movies in even the kingdom movies where, you know, the king of a kingdom, when they get like uh, infiltrated, they rarely leave. They're just like, oh, well, it's over for me. They're going down with a ship. That's what happens. I can only tell you this because I've been in just many, you know, just many things in my life. I've had to be the leader and stuff in charge. I go, that's it. We're either going straight to zero together or this is going to work out. You know, could be playing sports teams. It's just anything from university, school, everything. Friends, I tell you, you go all in. That's what these people do that. You can't, you can't do these and do it part-time. 
Most of us can't relate to this though, because these people are unique individuals. They're conquerors. Yes, they're like they're literally like Genghis Khan's out there. I want to go conquer, conquer, conquer. You know what I mean? That's what that's. I think like sub one percent of the population is like this. One percent. So everybody has their plus. Unfortunately, like seventy five percent are literally just sheep. Exit liquidity, food, or they just they keep the lights on for an economy. So I know it's kind of hard for everybody to really understand this, but this is unfortunately what we are. Okay, but good thing is we have the power of the internet. You're watching a guy in a bull hat moo teaching you this for free. Aren't you glad? ETH BTC is going up, friends. ETH BTC seems to be going up. We need it to continue the ratio, and that will sh show us the market's ready for this yield-seeking pumper mental. We just saw Ethereum pump. Let's see what happens next. Uniswap and the DeFi coins are also pumping. Maybe Hex continues the dream and shows us the way along the Pulse Chain ecosystem for the rest of the year. Like, subscribe, bell button, all. Catch you soon.